So at May Institute, everything we do is derived from the science of behavior analysis. And behavior analysis is really the study of why certain behaviors occur in different ways. Applied behavior analysis is all about the application of that science to problems that are important and of concern. It lets us do really life-changing work. So the power of applied behavior analysis can be life-changing for people with autism and other developmental disabilities. We use applied behavior analysis in many different ways. One of the most important ways that we use applied behavior analysis with people with autism is helping someone with autism learn ways to communicate and interact with others. The core deficit of autism is a deficit in social interaction and communication. Some of the individuals that we work with come to us with absolutely no means of communicating their even most basic wants and needs. We can use behavior analysis to help those individuals learn ways to communicate with others. Sometimes we teach people how to talk and use words. Other individuals might learn to communicate using pictures or an iPad type of communication system. We use data in our practice. So we are not particularly interested in whether or not I feel like someone's getting better or you feel like someone's getting better or worse. We want the data to tell us. So we are very precise in our measurement. We identify the behaviors that we want to change. So what does it mean for someone to be happy? What is that going to look like? What are they going to say? What are they going to do? How can we measure it? And then we take data on that carefully to see if the things that we are doing are actually helping. I think that May Institute differentiates itself from other organizations that use applied behavior analysis in several different ways. One of the most important ways is that we support individuals across the lifespan. So we provide supports to very young children through early intensive behavioral intervention. We do that through home-based and center-based programs. We work with school-aged children in public schools as well as in our own schools at May Institute. We support adolescents and young adults as they're transitioning into work situations and we support adults from the time that they exit schools and enter into jobs and living in community settings all the way through old age and we're one of the few applied behavior analysis organizations that provides that sort of support. We do great practice in applied behavior analysis but we're also conducting cutting-edge research that will guide the field in the future. It's important for us to be conducting research for, I think, a couple of different reasons. One reason is that when our staff are engaged in research actively, it ensures that they are continuing to read and staying on the cutting edge themselves. The second point that's related to that is that we certainly don't know everything about autism spectrum disorder yet. We, don't, we just don't have all the answers yet, and those answers will come through continued research at places like May Institute where we can guide the field to providing ever better interventions and strategies for the people we work with. So when we think about advancing innovative care across the lifespan, to me, that means taking the power of behavior analysis and applying it in, in ways that help individuals live the fullest life that they can. I think, for me, what guides all of my work is helping the people that I work with live a meaningful and full life and be fully engaged in school, in the community, and at home. And that's really our goal at May Institute.